Alright folks, welcome back to Let's Play Breath of Fire 3 on the Mysterious JG. So yeah, the, uh, with frame skip, all that was really left to do is run away from like two encounters and just uh, frame skip through dialogue. So, let's get back to our adventure. Let's see how far back we're allowed to go. I think from the bottom of this mountain we probably can't go anywhere. Maybe we can. We'll just be at the bottom of the mountain and that'll be it. Yeah. I suppose you could come here if you wanted to go against this guy. Oh, you know what? I completely forgot. I can hit. A, I can camp now again. I won't be able to get maximum hit points restored, but I'll be able to get my MP back, and that's kind of what I'm worried about right this second. Oh, and we get to see what Momo has to say when she camps, and whether she enjoys it or is freaked out about all the bugs that are around. Nina gets to hang around outside. Looks like Momo is going to be in the tent. Or there's no camping dialogue for all three of them at this location. I guess this means we can get back to India. When we do, let's try looking for your friends again, okay? She's such a sweetheart. She really doesn't have any reason to call the avatar. I mean, I, I guess if she lives like the pampered princess traditional, you know, fairy tale princess life where she's bored probably just really enjoying uh, the chance to do something different, but yeah, well, it's sweetheart. Certainly compared to later games where I just, they don't give her much personality at all, so this turned her into a total bitch. It's cleaning up already. I'll, don't worry, Polly. I'll take care of it. Or maybe you're supposed to be saying it's cleaning up already. Just because you're traveling with a princess doesn't mean that you have intelligence, beauty, and lots of power. Doesn't make you a prince, does it, Avatar? Sorry, that was a silly thing to say, I guess. Yeah, it was. It was, why don't you just shut the fuck up? I am a prince! I'm a prince of thieves, in a way, as it were. So let's rest. And then we'll get back to our adventure. You know, just because you're traveling with a princess doesn't make you a bitch. You are one, but it's not because you're traveling with a princess, Mo. Hmm. So what would happen if we were to come back here, I wonder? This merch would be like, oh, I told you all. check out. Won't be terribly exciting for you folks, but I could check out um, my new rod, Rod Typhoon. Good ready, you Okay, so this one also breaks easily, but it's, uh... So they both break easily. I wasn't, I wasn't like, oh, this one breaks easier than the wooden rod. No, they both break easily. But this will go farther, and I think that to get new fish, I'm going to need to cast farther. What the? No! I failed to catch the fish. Okay, okay that's fine. No, I don't want... That wasn't very good. Wow, that sucked. There we go. I don't really 
know that I, there's supposed to be several species of fish I haven't caught before, according to the, like, you know, info screen you get when you first enter. But we get some kind of deep water stuff. So no, I've still got the same, it's the hitbox I was thinking about here before previous video. The little area that you have to keep the fish within. But that doesn't change with the new rod. It's just that you can go out farther. Manila is here, but I don't have the fish that I'd need to trade for. Species of fish? Blowfish? Oh, man, I am... You need 2,000 points to, um... To get the fish master guy as soon as you meet him. So it's kind of like if I can get one more thing where I actually get points for it, I got it. So that's pretty cool. Maybe, I, I mean, possibly even catching Mello would do it. He's the biggest Mello I've ever caught. I could just catch a bigger flying fish. Come on, damn it. You know this looks delicious. If I just catch one that's a little bigger than I've gotten previously, I should get enough points to actually do something here. Come on, damn you, I'm pressing and holding X. I hate this. I get into this pattern where they just slowly move away and there doesn't seem to be anything I'm allowed to do about it. Except hope that it suddenly tires out. Usually if they jump up out of the water, it means they've expended energy and I get to... Ah, there we go. Definitely a new species if I can get him. Yeah, this will put me over the top. I won't have to do any more fishing unless I want to. Uh, oh, and I think that little red meter down there is its strength it has left. I think it used. No. Used up all of its strength, maybe. Maybe it would be pretty sweet to win this, because this would put me over the top. I wouldn't have to fish anymore, except if I thought it would get me items. Very good. Very good. Ooh, a fucking Ready? man. Rodmaster, yeah. DX crotch chops now. You're the Rodmaster. So there we are, folks. There we are. I have enough points that I can uh, get the fisherman boss guy, which means that unless you want to try to get like items you can only get from fishing that's pretty much the reason to fish and we've got it we're done so I guess it was worth uh, worth coming back here wasn't it? very good I probably would do extremely limited uh, on-camera fishing from this point forward in the LP so if this is your favorite part of the LP I apologize for the rest of you it's good stuff so, where are we going now? There's the coffee shop. And we can't go by. We have to visit the coffee shop. It's like the gift shop. And the museum. You can't get out. Without visiting. Thanks for making us watch you fish for hours. Ladies, ladies, please. Let's try to get along. 10, 10, 3, 2, 1, then 1, then the number, folks. Look, there's a coffee shop. When well, you know. Why don't we stop for a drink? Hello! Are you stuck in down, too? 
that's because there's some strange fellows checking. Everyone on the road and no one can get through to Windia. Of course, that means we get more customers. Uh-oh. It's our mobster friends. So apparently fucking rule this area. It must be the men who are after you. It's Dr. Nutsack. Excuse me, but are you mobile? Long time no see, it's me, Pout, or Pele. Yes, I'm Momo. But I don't know who you are, Pele. It's, it's me. I'm the director of the plant your father built, Mr. Pele. It may have been my father who came up with the idea of using Chrismore to breed stronger crops. Chrismore? To build stronger crop, but he died before the plant was finished being built. You mean to bash the, plant, the stampede stop plant? Yes, we exactly. <laughs> Ever since your father Repsol passed away, we've been having nothing but trouble with the machines as a plant. Oh, but only my father would be able to make and use a machine like. One that uses chrism to make crops grow faster. You're too fucking stupid. I won't. I can't deny that. That's why I wonder if you, Momo, could help us. You're familiar with all your father's work, aren't you? I'd be glad to help, but I'm busy helping these two strangers, so I could have access to the machines then. Yes, we will, of course. Oh, thank you so much, Momo. Très bien. I'll see you at the plant then. Oh, oh, oh. My name is Pale. That is good enough reason for JG to do this exam. You want to look more like Dr. Wiley, who is apparently German. Excuse me, Momo. What the fuck are you doing? You work for me now. I'm not sure if I understood all of that. I'm a little slow. Well, you see, my father was an evil genius. There's this plant where they use chrism to grow plants, see? And my father helped build it. And since they're my father's machines, well, I thought maybe I'd help them out a little bit. I mean, it's not like we'll be getting anywhere on the road for a while, right? Could rebuild the damn rocket and do it right this time. Well, it's only meant for one. Many customers enjoy afternoon days. Well, it's the great view we have from here. But don't forget our specialty is curry. Oh, I'm not going to do an Indian accent. That'll come off racist. <laughs> I wonder if they grew these potatoes at the plant. Boil up, mash up, stick them in a stew. Boil up, mash up, stick them in a stew. The plant, that place west of the mountains. It's a wheel, it's a wheel, it's a wheel, it's a wheel, it's a wheel. And you can't stop it turning. Where do they do those weird experiments? Alonzo, who is like, uh, I don't know, apparently Italian, maybe Hispanic. Huh. I think. You look like you've got some potential. What do you say? Want to become my apprentice? Yes. Sorry if you want to be my apprentice. You have to always be carrying at least 15 kinds of weapons. I don't need any wimps getting in my way. See you later. Hey, wait a minute. What the fudge? I do have 15 kinds of weapons, don't I? I thought I had uh, plenty of weapons. Certainly been uh, gathering them for long enough. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 
Supposed to have enough. Maybe there's some place where I can buy a new weapon kind. Pipe. Why don't you buy that impress over there? What about buying coffee? We can leave the world by that, but we still got a few beds open. Yeah, I'll go ahead and stay. Hurts any other, that sounds good. Good night, sleep tight. Don't let the bed bug in bed. Hopefully that Manila was selling weapons. Otherwise, I'm kind of hosed here. I thought I had enough. I suppose we can save. In the in-game save. I haven't been using it much. I'm using it periodically, though. I guess I already have one with the, these guys, including the momster there. Come on, so sell me a weapon. Plant. Oh, you mean that building to the west? Isn't that the place where they grow the weird plants with the chrism stuff? Yeah, I think it is. I'm trying to get to Wendy, but the road's blocked by evil assholes. What do they think they're doing? Stopping up the road like that. I'm all vegetable croquet curry coming up. I didn't ask for one lady. Oh, I love curry. Can't get enough of it. I like curry too, actually. I don't match our cooking against anyone. Please give my best wishes to everyone. A weapon? We just kind of hung out in this room back here and slept while all these people were out here eating curry. I did used to live uh, briefly when I was uh, spent a semester in London. Uh, my roommate and I had an apartment that was over a curry shop. You sort of become immune to the smell after a while. Because I like curry, but it, it is uh, definitely has a strong odor. As well as full of vinegar and piss. It's just right as a flavor for curry. Interesting. Oh, that, there's another person up here. They seem to have disappeared. Well, I gotta go see if that guy at Momo's Tower was selling a weapon and I just totally didn't register. Because if he is, I pretty much need to buy it so that I have enough weapons. I can't unequip what Momo is carrying, which means I don't have 15 in my inventory. I will be very irritated if I can't hire this person. I think for that I would have to probably go back to an earlier save. Oh, what am I thinking? I know what I can do. Well, since I'm here, I'll check, but... No, I won't even check. I know what to do. I'll slash him in the face. Yeah, because he doesn't sell any freaking weapons. But, what I can do is... I've got a couple of weapons where I've got more than one. I will equip the avatar with one of the two bronze swords, collected things of jewelry up, and now I should, well, I'll double check, but that should mean I've got enough. So I don't think she takes them away, I think she just needs to, she has this thing that you need to have that many. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen, there we are, that's all I had to do, okay. Yeah, a little panic moment there. That was, that was going to be potentially a lot of playing back. I made sure to buy one of every type of weapon that was available, because I was assured by a fact that that would give you enough. So let's 
take a quick look at our party. Nobody's hit points will be in yellow. I don't... Yeah, okay, I think Nina had 49 max hit points for a while, so she had actually had her max hit points whittled away. And... Now, who do we want to pair up with this person? Um... I think Nina's learned everything she can from her master. It's got to be either Momo or Nina. And although Momo seems like a fun enough character, I mean, Nina's freaking Nina. Even if the game guides I'm reading don't recommend using her in the end game, she's freaking Nina. She's like, after the Avatar, she's the most important character in Breath of Fire. So I'm going to use her with this master so that if she levels up, she's actually getting food stats. And I believe what I read is that this particular master uh, improves agility, which would be nice. So I'll, I'll clip her to Nina, so that, I mean, if Avatar, I would give her to, uh, to improve his agility, if it weren't for the fact that Avatar needs to go. I don't want to do anything with Avatar, because I don't think he'll learn his last skill, the skill from Bunyan, if I mess him up now. I like the outfit. You look like you got some potential. Well, you say I want to become my apprentice? Today, my days is a long walk all over. If you listen to what I say, we'll... On your body like a man. Alright then, Nina, from today, you're my apprentice. Anyone else want to become my apprentice? Can she do more than one at a time? Alright then, Mama, from today, you're my apprentice. Anyone else want to become my apprentice? Oh no, more than one at a time. I think they could do that. See you later. You're back again. Anyone want to become my apprentice? Don't tell me you want to give me my apprentice. Oh, that's interesting. I didn't know they could both be apprenticed at the same time. I think only one of them will learn skills, but uh, whoever is considered first in the party will probably be the one who learns skills. Well, this being the case, I now am no longer all that worked up about not uh, over-leveling. That's pretty cool. I don't know why it doesn't let me pick the order that they... Whatever. Okay, that being the case, I, I, I don't think I'll start grinding right now, but... I no longer feel like I need to avoid leveling at all costs. So we just can't get back to India. Maybe if we get back to India, um, we'll have the freedom to do what we want. That sure would be interesting. See a pleasant smelling field of flowers. And what are you about? What are you doing here, Lizzie? Oh, yeah. I don't know what's going on, guys, but the music's pretty fucking epic. It's like the tree, or we're gonna have to go into this thing and get some memory back at some point. As you gaze at Yagdrazil, full of life and energy, you feel a sense of awe come over you. Aww. Alright, well. This ain't Secret of Mana, so what the fuck game? Um, apparently, something big will happen here eventually. You always put in these little paths. There's always a reason for it. Not necessarily something fantastic and great, but... I feel like I might have missed the master already. Wasn't there, like, this 
place off the beaten path earlier on where we went and we never really found a reason. Are we like... Holy crap, did we actually maybe get back to the beginning of the game, sort of? A sparkling spring is said to be the home of fairies. Or just really weak enemies. I got 800 zenny. Now another thing that was kind of... I spoiled for myself while just trying to get general info is that this game has like a little town that you build for yourself as in Breath of Fire 2, but this time it's a fairy village. So apparently whenever that part of the plot kicks open for us, I don't know when that is, this is probably the place where it's going to go down. I'm surprised that if they just want this to be a really simple area that doesn't give you a lot of stress or trouble. Why are they bothering to make their enemy encounters at all? Maybe this is some place you're supposed to be able to go to level up new characters that join you at low levels. Or... Oh, I found Scramasax! So it's nice to find that. That's like finding Taco Smith. Yeah, it's pretty cool that I can now just frame skip and kill instead of frame skip and run away because characters are actually getting something out of uh, so I can't really get in here I think that is a plot place that's my guess boss battle we can't escape from with the uh, Mulder and Scully, but... Hmm, don't like the looks of them. Oh, brother! I mean, oh, brother. Who are these guys? What do they want? What happened? Notice Valley went with a couple of kids. No one's seen us, but we better lay low for now. We cannot allow you to cross the, brig the bridge without authorization from the king. Wait, what? She's the fucking princess! If you cross this bridge, there's a town with a port. Don't know where the boat goes from there, though. Don't pay much attention. So is it... Is it Valio and what's his name who are blocking us? Or is it the Windian guards? Hey, he's asking. Have you seen these kids come through here? Guards from Windia would help. Princess frickin' Nina. Stop your eating in this. And have you seen these kids? Looks like one of all those men. How do you get out here? Maybe bring it along. Although, actually, we had a hell of a time getting here. We involved like rockets and stuff. Choo choo. I don't know. Choo choo. It's nothing. There's a mean looking bunch over on the West Road, too. I wonder what's going on. Yeah, this freaking mafia is totally after us a lot. It's a little noisy. Maybe you'd like to rest? Okay, uh, good. Thanks, old man. Don't need it right now. Maybe she's selling the wallets that I could have used if I didn't think of my other brilliant idea. Oh, speaking of brilliant ideas, sorry, I didn't mean to like zap you late. The person there after must have done something really bad. Shut the fuck up, lady. They're assholes. The person they're after must be like a great hero. sometime before battle's already over. Yeah, he's got the worst agility of them, but now it's not like quite as ridiculous as the spread. I guess I could carefully look around here for a little piece of treasure, but uh I'll tell you what folks, it's pretty much time to end the video. Um when we come back, we uh 
when we come back, we're going to, um, I guess the next thing this plot wants us to do is go to this factory. I always like to look for ways to weasel around the outside of the thou must do plot items. I don't think we'll be able to. But uh, we probably will play with trying to do it in the next video and eventually get back to the story. I still don't understand why Princess Nina can't get the Windian guards to let them pass and beat up uh, Balio and Sunder's men while they're at it. But, hey, I'm Mysterious JG. I want to thank you guys for watching. And we'll be back with more Breath of Fire 3 in the next video. Bye-bye.